Hi, I'm Angel Shaver, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas, and we're here today for week two with the Tulip Fields stamp set. We're going to make a card. So let me point you down and we will get started. I'm going to go over here and pull up the video so I'm sure you can see what I'm trying to show you. Okay, we are going to make a slimline card today, and I have already cut out many of the pieces we will need for the card front, and there isn't any grid paper down yet because we're going to start with cutting out some dies. So I'll set the Tulip Field stamp set aside for now. You can make a slim line card any size you want. Anything that will fit in your envelope. I made this one. It's eight and a half. And I wanted to make it three and a quarter inches wide. So you double that. So I have eight and a half by six and a half. And then you score it in the center, and there is your slimline card. And we're going to make it a vertical card, not a horizontal card today. And I have cut a couple of pieces of the designer series paper. This is the flowering tulips designer series paper. I have the field of tulips plus the sky, which is also a pattern in there, it's cut three by five and three by three. Set those aside for now. This paper we'll use to stamp a sentiment on. You just need another scrap of white. And we are going to use both the crow cake and the early espresso to cut out our windmill. So we will be using the windmill, windmill fields dies. And I brought my large stamp cut emboss today because I think the windmill might be a little too large for the mini. I don't actually know. So I'm setting things up to cut out some dies. The windmill itself would definitely work with the mini cutting up boss, but I think perhaps and there's the detail part of the windmill. First thing I'm going to do is send my crumb cake through with the base of the windmill. And this is our windmill base. We'll set it aside until we're ready for it. And then I am cutting both the blades and the details out of early espresso. Now, 
it's going to be easiest for you to adhere the detail die if you put the adhesive sheet on the back and it comes out like a sticker. But you do not want the adhesive on the back of the blades. And you will see why in a, in a bit. Make sure that the adhesive stops before I put on my blade because I don't want adhesive on the back of my blade. So there's my details and my windmill blades. And I'm done with my cut and boss, so I'm going to just scooch it over. I don't remember, it's terrible of me, but I don't remember if I brought my die cut foam mat and brush. There's the foam mat. Let me see if I have the brush. It technically goes on the top of your take a pick tool but I'm just gonna hold it in my hand and use it and we're just gonna try to get all those little pieces out of the blades must not have had my cutting sheet all the way to the edge of the um, blades. So I'm just going to use my snips and finish cutting them out. And then my snips can also push out any of the little pieces that didn't come out with the brush. All right. And then we do the same thing with the windmill detail. Not sure they will come out without the with the backing is still on. So I'm gonna move my foam sheet and we're gonna take this backing off. Try to push some of the deep. Not very many of them went with it. So, 
what I did earlier and see if they'll stick to the foam sheet and then I'll get them off of there earlier. I mean later. Okay, then I'm going to push out the rest. Set that aside again, and I'm going to get my windmill shape out, and we're going to attach the details. So it's already completely sticky on the back. I'm just removing any last little bits of pieces of it that stuck to it, and... We're going to line it up just like a sticker. And there we have our windmill base. Now I'm going to pull my card back over and we're going to add the designer series paper to the front. Start with the field of tulips, and this is a three by five inch piece of designer series paper. And then we have some clouds. And this is a three by three inch square. All right. Now, to put the windmill on. Get some glue on there and put it right about there. We'll add the plates after we do whatever stamping we're going to do. Okay. So I want to stamp on the inside of my card, and I think I'm going to choose some little clouds. to use I have the new in colors with me which color do I think would look great with these maybe Tahitian tag We're just going to make some clouds up at the top, just like we're looking at a cloudy sky. And then I 
definitely want some of these smaller clouds as well. Going to do some stamp off. Not a lot, just. We've used our Tahitian Tide for this Clouds in the Sky. And one thing I didn't um, pre-plan and think about was a sentiment. And that's one thing this Tulip Fields stamp set has no sentiments. So if you don't want to write it and you would like to stamp it, you have to use something different. Well, I'm not sure what I wanted. So I'm looking at the sentiments I have right here. I think I'm going to use from the Rainbow of Happiness a little something to brighten your day. And we're going to stamp that with the Orchid Oasis stamp. are new so they're still a little sticky going to close that up yet because I think I'm going to stamp a sentiment on this piece of white paper to put on the front of the card. So I'm going to use Best wishes from the artistically inked stamp set. And I think I might pull my minis stamp a cup machine over to cut a circle out with that sentiment. Okay. No more stamping. I'm just going to cut out a circle and then the card together. to trim this paper to fit in the mini um, cut and emboss because it can't be wider than three and a half inches. And it is just a little bit.
get my layering circles. Those are my artistic dies. Here's my rectangles. Where are those silly circles? I just had them. And I think I'll use a scalloped die. Maybe not. I want something smaller. got the small scallop die. I'm going to use it and we will send this We will put the card together. So here is the card. I think I'm going to put best wishes. I was going to put it at the bottom, but I think I'm going to attach it with the dimensional. right about here and now we're gonna play put on our blades you will need something to um, make a hole so I have a paper piercer I'm gonna line up my holes and just poke right on through. Okay. And then we're going to attach it with the brad. I think I'm going to want to use a white brad. And a white square brad is what I'm picking. So I'm just putting that through the center of the blades and then this hole in the top of the windmill that we just pierced through. We didn't pierce through enough because I'm bending my breath. Get my paper piercer and try it again. Okay, now try the brown again. There we go. And then flatten the brad on the back side. Now, if you want to. You can put some paper or something fancy to cover up that brad to keep the mystery alive so people don't completely understand the card mechanism. But I'm just going to 
leave it as is. And you want to make sure that you don't tighten it so much that it can't spin a little bit because that's why we did not want adhesive on the blades because they can spin. They're not very sturdy close to the brad so they prefer bending over spinning but that's all. So there it is, our best witches card with our spinning windmill blades. And open it up and there are your clouds and your sentiment. Hope you enjoyed that. I will be back next Thursday at two o'clock and we will make a christmas card with the flowering tulips stamp set see you then